I said move it. H hey. Whoa. <laughs> Get whoa. off me. You'd rather spend the night here? Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky your family. Are you kidding me? Let's talk in private. Let's talk in private. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Dang. He just came in anyways. Just tell us, Eddie. It's not hard. They're grown as adults okay. now. Yeah. You're right. We need to talk. Good. Good. I don't think Eddie's a bad guy. I just think I don't know. I don't know. The winter what I think before of your anymore. mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. What was all that noise? Most roads were closed, and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. <laughs> she was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So Tessa came to you? She was struggling. So Tessa came to you? <laughs> You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint. Yeah, that's Even if I job. didn't agree. That un that's understandable. Tessa stabbed her in the back, so you called child services. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure kinda, to provide adequate food. He has to. Lack of like, appropriate supervision. That's his job. Inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. Hmm. What? It's bullshit. We saw those towny complaints against Marianne, Tyler. But he saw them. <laughs> it wasn't just Tessa's word. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services. That's true. He did tell her. <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I. I didn't see it coming. Mm, understandable. She. I don't know. Yeah, right I know Eddie's not a bad guy. I just knew there's. Must have decided be. it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. You tell him! You tell him, Allison! And yet you still lied. Little moose. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. I'm gonna cry! What the heck? I, no, I'm not gonna get over the fact that he didn't say hi to- That's bullshit, Allison. Just like that, huh? I'm not, I don't want him to get too mad about the situation. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Ooh. Eddie, you <laughs> keep trying to point your Why finger at that Tessa. Face? You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. Whoa, okay, okay. Okay, pause, I've asked pause. myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. Tyler's too mad right now. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. Don't touch me! And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father? Well, it's a pretty tough job. He was young! Ten years ago, he's 38 now? And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. Aw, oh, give him a chance, Tyler. Come on! Come on, you know he's trying. He's mad though, he can't. We should get, we should, we could get there with time. No, it's not that easy. 
We could get there with time. I want them to get along, okay? I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect Tyler, that. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. It's hard work rebuilding trust. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. He's gonna put it on? Oh my god, he's gonna- ah! This is so cute, what the heck? I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna start crying. Oh my god, this is too cute. Group hug? Why am I blushing? Uh, you can't see it, but I can feel it. Absolutely not. Uh, no, absolutely not. I'll they both were like... Kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. Tyler, what's up? I want to apologize. I saw the fairweed invoice. I'll see you around. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'm going to apologize. I, um, uh... I feel like I owe you an apology. Oh yeah, what for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Whoa! Sorry. It was messed up. <laughs> don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. Um, I can't make no promises. I saw the fireweed invoice. So, uh, I saw the invoice from fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. Stop mentioning I, it. Uh, Stop mentioning it. <laughs> we don't have to talk about it. Oh, uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't <laughs> have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. That's true. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. <laughs> this episode's too cute. Might as well. Should we go out the door we came in it? Can I do that? Nope, we cannot. Let's go then. Come on now. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. It actually went really well. We broke in and we still got away with it. Okay, I'm just gonna walk past y'all. Long story. Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. That's the person she forgot to give the <sighs> birthday to. Uh, to be here. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Oh, you know pulled pork. Yeah, sure. A pulled pork okay. sandwich sounds really good right now. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Yeah, I knew Eddie was a good guy. He, they just, I don't know. They just had their own issues. But I'm glad they're getting along. Allison. What are you what? mad about? You feel like shit. How can you tell? You what is she mad like about? Shit. What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Just leave her alone. Look. We're not to be honest, do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Well, that's why she did it. Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my God, Ch children, I. Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. This is sad. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going yeah. to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, you could tell Tessa really cared. Uh, then reporting it is there uh, well Eddie had to do it because it was his job cold case discovered intel about Marianne's past and her death it's just the fact that Tessa thought she was doing what was right because honestly if you ever saw kids where is uh, everybody 
Tess has got to be around somewhere. If you ever saw that situation, you'd probably do the same. You know what I mean? Tess is pissed at us the last time. something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. What happened to Michael, guys? Like, we got to know him and all of a sudden, uh, he gone? But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. Who's that? I need to take a breather. Is that the I'm old man that was on the boat? Shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go talk to Michael first. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old boat was staring me down. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I literally oh, am. Hey, Tyler Ronan. I knew it! Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Okay. Hi, Michael. <laughs> you two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Oh. Sorry. Will she be back soon? Is Tom busy? Okay, thanks. Is Tom busy? Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Will Tessa be back soon? Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's gonna be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. <laughs> Poor Michael. Um, okay, have a good one, Michael. Can I talk to you? Doing some wanna... shopping? Yep. Mm. I'm looking for Tessa, actually. Just looking for the woman who runs the place? The shopkeeper's wife? Can't say I've seen her around. Have a nice day, sir. Dang, okay, this is awkward. Okay, so we're, I, I'm assuming we're going to talk to Tom, because Tessa's not even here. Is there, like, is there a collectible here? I don't think so. You're in. Aw, Tom sounds so sweet. Hey, what's up, Tom? What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting she with the Alaska me. Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Dang, it's crazy. They're identical twins. I never. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Um. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? <coughs> she had to step out for a family matter. <coughs> this wouldn't be something I could help with, Dang. would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, <laughs> we were yeah, over maybe, at the police actually. station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <coughs> okay. Tessa reported Marianne. Why was Tessa at the station? Uh... Let's just be sure. Tessa well, reported Tom. Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. Mm. But I didn't get involved. I, uh, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. Right, how did you just bring that up? In any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? Oh, don't get mad at Tom. Exactly. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Tessa reported Marianne. Why was Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? Probably because she, she found out she was dead. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. Understand? How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. Mm. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Excuse me. Thank you, Tom. I like Tom. He's cool. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. Right. Your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a... Tyler nodding his head. Look at that. <laughs> trust. We understand that. We need the truth to heal. 
Uh, we understand that. I don't think Tom really I guess is... that makes sense. But we need to know what really happened. You deserve that. Mm, see, I'm Tom sorry if some cool. folks have been less than helpful, but you've got to give people time. It's been ten Especially years. Tessa. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Well, hi, hey. Michael. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. I love Michael, uh, man. So, I kind of wish you saw him more. Was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like... Who her father might have been? No, they don't know who their father is exactly at all. Not a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Could anyone in this town be the father? But look, I. <laughs> you gotta oh, go. Gosh, uh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Tom. I really have to go. Tom has a, a job to do, a business to uh, run, and he's Michael, trying to be... Uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. <laughs> I like that they trust Michael. Obviously, he's doing his job good enough. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Sure. Why not? Why not? <gasps> we came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, Honestly, I could be the she, other she's sibling. She's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Ouch. Okay. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I. Oh, their I'm mom's really there. Excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, He's like, me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me. A <laughs> sure thing, Michael. Uh, let me talk to my sister first. Where'd that question about our father come from? I'm curious what he knows. I'm curious what he knows. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us Is that Michael this shit walking out. around? Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, People her name get might curious. have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. <laughs> uh... Hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. You want to be alone? You won't be alone. Should we just not go? You won't be know, alone. But I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not my sure eyebrows I are gonna come off. into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get this door closed, so go give him a hand. Hey, Michael, where's the storage room at? No, seriously, where's the storage room at? Am I dumb? It's not in here. Oh, it's over here. Oh, 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 I didn't even see these doors. Is that old man gone? All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not okay. complicated. I've got okay. this in the back. Oh, yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? You know it. Your job's not that hard. I'm just clowning. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. All right. Okay. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Molto Bene tomato? Oh, my God. I already forgot. Go to the back, he said. These them? Yes, they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 14. Hold on. Let me count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That Already. Was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Where are those at? They shouldn't be near the food, but... Oh, 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 oh. On it. On it. Are these the bleach? Yes, they are, I think. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of them. Six? 
All right. Not bad, Tyler. <laughs> Good at my job. Careful. I'm not even getting paid. They might give me your job. <laughs> oh, right? You can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Okie dokie, artichokey. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Examine? <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> yeah, come on. Look at the hair. <gasps> Nailed it, right? His face. That's beautiful. There's room for improvement. The proportions are way off. That's beautiful. I love it. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey. Amazing. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. I'm not. Well, maybe a little bit. Whoa, I could have written this I like script. It. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was really? out there doing your work? What can I say? <laughs> I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Oh. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I want to see I this from the front! You in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. What do I do now? All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Plushies. You found the box of plushies? This oh. entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Restaurant? There's a restaurant? Is this the restaurant door? No. What is that noise? Is this, is it over here? Red Queen, I'm not even gonna bother because I have plushies to count. Okay. Where? Oh, wait. I'm stupid, where, where are the plushies? Is this it? Oh. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, there's eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? He's gonna scare him. Ouch, what the fuck? Ow, what the Sorry. heck? It was just... Too tempting. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, do I have to aim? I suck at aiming! Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. Aww. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. What was that? <laughs> gotcha. Uh, where is he? <laughs> gotcha. Okay, let's change our cover. I want to. One I more hit, wanna... and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Oh come on, is that all you got, Ronan? You just wait. <laughs> just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh yeah, we'll see. I can't even see him over here. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Don't fuller! I'm good looking? Oh, oh my god! So I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. I'm winning! How do I... Oh, he, he went down, he went down. Boom! <laughs> Me and Tyler, best team ever. What is he doing? What is he doing? What's his plan? Oh. <laughs> Watch Man, the glasses! <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? <laughs> I was about to say that. The nice what? Ah. Uh, Alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Okay. Won the plushie battle, sharpshooter. Is that the mangy muskrat? 
why is there a collectible in here well alice does work here so maybe she put it there but you find them in the most random places the mangy must examine is Isn't that his that uncle a picture of a priest with little hearts yeah that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study. I was going to say, he's pretty fine. <laughs> for the fine. record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. I won't lie. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now. He see? does, yeah. he does. Yeah. I see it. Uh, okay, let's look at this. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. You grilled something for me? You're super thoughtful. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. No. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things right. for Right, uh, Pull yeah. Off to fix that. Nah, I love Michael. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we did we did that. We did we did that. I think the next thing to do is just to sit in the chair. Wait, can I talk to him? No. So we sit. <clears throat> What's that? So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but he, he doesn't I really think matter. he's sweet too. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. That is true. Not a big fan of Tessa. What about Tom? Politics. What kind of boss is Tom? What kind of boss is he? So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool. I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But milk he's right. Toast. He's not the worst boss. Milk Toast. Had. What does that mean? Not to be a fan of Tessa. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. Ever confronted her? No way. Have you ever confronted her about it? Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man. Yeah, he's kind of... Rough. It is. But out here, just surviving is a form of protest. Nah, literally, that's me in this town. Um, what about Tom's politics? What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I was thinking I that admit, too! I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Seriously? Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though, to be honest. Really? Mm. Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. True, oh, true. Yeah. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, neither did I. All right. And I'm done. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna ask what his clan is. Which clan? Octopus clan, Raven Moity. Huh, badass. So you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that mm. well, but they're still family. I was really right. close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, That's always yeah. really sad. Of course. Let me look at I'm this person that I'm talking to. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. <laughs> I'm not I surprised. Promote my lifestyle in front of the customers. She doesn't say anything. She Man. literally pr promotes hers every day, though. spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. You don't, yeah. Opening yep. the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. Literally. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you get lonely here? Have you ever been with anyone here? Have you ever been with anyone hey, here? I hope this isn't too personal. That's Wait, true. I didn't even think of that. you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. Oh my god, I used to hate that! A few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. Right. What about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. So figure you might uh, never met the right person. Never met the right person. I've never really been with anybody. Guess I was too busy processing trauma. I was gonna say he's been doing his but own thing, trying to figure I himself out. If I met a guy out. I was into, 
Who knows? Do you ever get lonely here? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working. Okay, I love this. I was just talking about how we don't really get to see Michael much, and now I'm talking to him a bunch. Because no one else will. Right. True. True like... words. Anyway. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean it's the weird. OG Ronin? The OG Ronin! First, you know. Is what? that so? How many minutes? The Allison How many said minutes? she was. Well, I'm sure our she mother never so. actually told us, but it was me. How do you so, know it was you? Why is it so weird to meet me? Because right. I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Aww, Allison's we, such a nice sister. The transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. I have this, now I can't do anything about yeah, it. Oh! Figures. Allison's that lady is thorough and she so loves cool. you like crazy. I know. Uh, Allison's so, cool too. Yeah, uh, you were I'm probably sweaty. the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. Oh, right? You're pretty alright. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Ah! So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. Guys, I guys, know. guys. I... I'm blushing for Tyler. I've got a oh my gosh. Could be yours too. Come on, move with them. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. That's true. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. No, seriously. They pull me Michael's out of the dark nothing but facts right now. I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. <laughs> because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. Huh? You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. You're swell too. We're not looking for the same thing. You're swell too. Oh, <laughs> well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. <gasps> does Allison like Michael? Wait, does Michael like girls? My best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Oh no, yeah. oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, does Allison- oh. Hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Oh gosh, Are you guys, guys. ready to go? Oh mm -hmm. gosh. Allison, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I didn't know. as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Allison, my love, I'm sorry. Do you like Michael? Does Michael like girls? And guys? Cause honestly, same, that's how I am. But still! Still, um, I know. Why did you separate like that? Was it because she was waiting for long? Or is she, is she interested in Michael? They're chatting yeah, her up are. here. <gasps> Does she not like that they're getting along, like talking so much? I'm, oh, I'm so lost, I'm so confused. Oh no, she doesn't want to be here because- Thanks for yeah. letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Pause. Why did he say that to Tyler? It's Allison's car. C come on now. Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. Excuse me. You can't miss it. I can't blame Allison for not wanting to be here. go check in with my uncle. Good luck. Aww. For real. Michael's a good friend. You gotta be here for your sister right now. You got you got to do it, Tyler. I know it's probably hard for you too, though. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? Oh, I guess I'm just walking now. Hey, Allison. I'll go first. You don't you don't got to rush, okay? Don't Oh my god, sorry, Allison. I'm There was something here. What is that over there? What is that? Can you just look out? The pearl of a runlet that never ceases. With a hollow boiling voice it speaks. 
and has spoken since hills were turfless peaks. A crooked, oh, it's up here. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people <laughs> always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. That's respectful. Probably just a mirror in her own thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Oh, let me read this. Due to the national outlawing of native re religions and ways of life, m much of our knowledge of the old ways of Ting... I'm sorry if I say this wrong, and I know I am saying it wrong. Tling... Lingit? Spiritual practice has been lost. Below are two everlasting examples of the love and reverence we continue to show our departed and the traditional of, of our ancestors. <clears throat> Mourning those who have journeyed to the other side. As love transcends all boundaries, the passing of a clan member is an event felt throughout the community. The people come together to mourn a loved one and lift their opposite clan member's spirits. When an eagle is being mourned, the ravens shower love and strength upon mourning eagle clans. Likewise, when a raven is being mourned, the eagles are there for the ravens. After the service, it is customary for members of the opposite moiety to comfort the grieving family by bringing out their AT. Ooh, I don't know how to say that. Sorry, clan-owned reg reg regalia to symbolically catch tears before they hit the ground and comfort grieving clan members' support. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually pretty interesting. Celebrating life. The 40-day party is observed 40 days after the passing to pay respects to the departed. Some believe this is a more recent tradition. Family members organized a shared meal where a fire dish, one plate of food, is burned to nourish and comfort the spirit of the departed. One year or more from the passing is held to, to first mourn then celebrate the life of the departed. It is hosted by the clan of the deceased. This is the... This is to honor the departed clan member. Through a traditional ceremony, show appreciation and pay debts to the opposite Mo Mo Moedi who supported the clan during time of mourning. Oh. That's actually really interesting. Where'd she... Oh, she's just right next to us. Can I look at this? Deer? No, I cannot. She should be, like, right here. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's I... possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. <laughs> Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branchy? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. <laughs> Guess again. Okay, so it's not. Oh, can I can I kind of read them before we? I don't remember her last name. This is one person. Is it this one? I feel like it's Dalio. this one. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. She has to be here. An eagle. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Oh. Where is that? Where's the memory? Why do I keep doing that? Y'all, why do you keep letting me do that? You really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can work fine on my own. Oh. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. Oh. Um, I... I barely remember. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. 
that it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Should I talk to... I feel like he'll still be there. No, I feel like walking to her grave is gonna be um, like a we continuation. Like a Last year, it was really hard on him. Dang, it's He's really recent. It. Can I talk? Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, I sit here. I I keep saying I literally. Literally, so, it's Tyler. How are you, um... Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't Ooh. mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're Ouch. old news, lady. You Ouch. owned me. Deeply. Yeah, that was... <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? What was your uncle like? Ask him about it, you know? So if what he's was your uncle there. like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? You know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? I'm gonna cry. That's literally... I know that picture. I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Not. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with Clink my uncle it. than my dad. He was the first person Clink to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Yes, I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. <laughs> I want different taste testing. Don't be rude, Allison. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole <laughs> way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. Pff, no, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. You were close to. Uh, where did he ask that? Talk to you later. You bet. Oh, I almost cried there. Okay, Allison, I'm assuming you're staying with him? So, how are you, um... I want to listen to the conversation. <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Did she even know what he looked like? Oh. You realize I can hear you, right? <laughs> hey, you do realize I can hear you, right? Cover your ears, the grown-ups are talking. What? <laughs> okay, well. While hey, they're talking. Girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juna's gonna seem real boring after all this. Huh? Boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. Yeah, um, he said he could cook. The chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. To honor those who no longer with us, the I'm not gonna say it because I know I don't know how to say it right. Preservation committee at the community of Dallas dedicate this mo monument as an an everlasting connection between past, present, and future generations. May the memory of our destiny, our may the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. May this be rest be a resting place for our loved ones who have jo journeyed to the other shore. May our eternal love soothe the wounds of days past towards a brighter horizon. So if I ask him about it, will he say something about it? I know this is so itchy right now. How's it going? About this place. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. Shoot. What about the, is it Tinglet? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry. What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? Clinket. the memory 
of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. Why is he the... That was Uncle William. <laughs> oh. Lost in the chaos okay. of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Yeah. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. It's crazy. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos I really of made history. him repeat himself. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. Remember the recently when they that. dug up all those kids? Terrible. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. Okay, Allison. You stick with Michael. I'll go check out our mom's grave. Or Marianne's. They don't even say mom. Michael's a cool dude. It's hard to pick, like, a, a favorite character. Like, they all have their own really likable quality, you know, personalities and qualities about them. Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Well, only a few steps in, and I'm already starting to regret this. Uh, Allison, please. I'm not going! Allison, come back! It's hard. Especially as a kid. Yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I'm already here. <laughs> I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore. But then I'll you'll leave. leave. I'm gonna be okay. Please don't worry about me. Aww. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too. But look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Watch. Did I miss something? Stop it. Stop it. Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. Stop it right now. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. It's really sad. Going through something like that at the age of 11? I... Brown? <sighs> Who? Carol Brown? Let's marry Anne Fine. Brown? <laughs> they just said they were family. How do they know each other? I forgot how hard Mary and Toby when Eddie's mom died. We were only four. Is Eddie. Yeah. How we old? We were only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. I'm trying to put ages together. 
I don't want to say I think Eddie is their dad, but it's a it's kind of weird how close they are. Ty. Yes. Yes. This is it. Free. Which? Yeah. It's not this one. God, I, I think I need a second. Is this it? Look around, okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. All good. I feel like it would be by itself. Is it this one over here? This is Brooks Moore. No, I don't think she would have a... She says she looked at the water the whole time. Is it this one? This might take a while. Oh, no. Can I go this way? No, I cannot. Oh, gosh. Where is she? Oh! It's this one. I know that was cold. Mary Aunt Ronan. <laughs> they have such a, such pretty eyes. Like to get that effect, I have to wear contacts. That was. Aww. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you guys were kids, though. You didn't have to do it all alone. <laughs> this is a pretty shot. Even though it's really sad. Tessa? Uh, she was trying to walk Kids. away! I... I don't think Tessa's a too bad person, I to be honest. I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... She's gonna leave flowers for her. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? No, no, no. Don't put that on her like that. She was worried for you guys. Do I agree with the fact that she tries to, you know, hide people's beliefs and what they want to believe in? No, but I think she's still a good person. More on that in the end, though. Uh, what are those flowers, though? Some of them are pretty. Some of them look like whole seeds. When we pass on... Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. I mean, there's memories. Letting and hers stuff. just fall apart would be cruel. Oh, I get I'm what you're trying a to say. Person. Cruel enough yeah. to call social services on our mother. Oh I, my gosh! I, I wanted to protect I get their mind, though. you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day we were going to end up dead. No. I won't do this again. She, she doesn't have to do I that. To like, be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. No, fine. she wasn't. She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us. Until you threatened to have us taken away. I yeah, couldn't let kids. her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother True. never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead Strong. of running around with married men, well... What? Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Is Sam oh their dad? What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. Yeah, that's not the time. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. Ooh. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. 
you could have done better. You did what you had to. You destroyed our family. You did what you had to. In my opinion, I think she did what she had to. You were worried. And you did what you thought you had to. Get it? Yeah. We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Yeah. Thank you. I... I... No. I could have done more. Marianne mm. was fragile. She needed help, and I... That's true. I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. Oh my gosh, no it's not! I get why she thinks I know though, so. I've made mistakes. I All get why I she thinks she is, is though. Say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? Oh, true. I've been true. thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. Mm, means this is so me. <laughs> There's so understanding in Thank this community. You. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Yeah. I'm done losing people. I can't forgive you. I can't forgive you. I'm done losing people. Oh, can I'm I have said something out? I think I could have said something out. If we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Okay. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. What, she was... That was something, huh? She was like 40-something? Yeah, Rest I'd in peace. Pretty much given up peace on with her. Marianne, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like no. a total ass right now. She probably feels the same. She needed to hear all that. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. Um, is Michael walking? That's what he said, right? So we don't have to wait for him, right? Yes? You no, wanna sit down so? for a bit? No. Where am I? Oh, I'm sitting right next to you. Got it. Oh, what a nice view. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Thanks for coming with me. Our reunion hasn't gone as planned. Thanks for coming with me. Just thank Listen, her, because she didn't even want to come. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but... There was no one really there for me like that, you know? You're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really Aww. don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, but... are you still blaming yourself for that? Right. Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. But he was able to and become who I totally he is wasted because it. of that. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You have time! Stop putting yourself down. You need time to heal. You need time to heal. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, alright? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. 
You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. Sometimes it is. We never had a shot at easy. Excuse me. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. Yeah. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Not necessarily. It doesn't explain why Maybe she was... she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Yeah. Not what even thinking, Tessa. Or Eddie. What is he thinking? And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. He's not wrong. Right? It feels like something's missing. Like a chunk of it is just not there. They're really good siblings. You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. I'm That's sure there's supposed to be music here. Way. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, oh. Do we have to? <laughs> hey. Whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh, shit. What the oh, heck? I'll get the fire extinguisher. There should not be a fire. It's winter. <sighs> Jesus scared me. Who was it? Is it Sam? They look like the Mad Hunter. Is that who they see? Who Tyler, is this person? Right? Is it their dad? Allison, Guys, barn. stay there. I got it. Yeah, you gotta. You can't really worry. Dang, he must have hit his head hard. He fell and everything. Someone set the barn on fire. What the heck? Oh, did they try to set the car on fire? No, what did they- There, there was... A, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? The I'm hunter. Sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? Oh, <gasps> they're trying to get something. They were trying to get know. something. But Pick I'm going to find out. Nah, we- what is that? Did he really have to smash everything? What's what's that? He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. God. He didn't bring it with him. Really turned this place upside down. We need something to pry it open. So did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. In here. Yeah, what's that? Is that a collectible? Ooh, that window scared me, not gonna lie. At least you were spared. Everything's on the floor. The moon hag. Asshole even dumped the drawers. What the heck, man? Um, is there anything we can use in here? Like, at all? This guy went on a tear. This guy went on a tear. Okay, so... I think about that. He wanted this. Hey, come check this out. Is that oh. a box under the barn? Yeah. A box? What the hell? I think oh, this is, is where the fire started. 
So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? Right. Should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. For chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. A little house on the tundra. Okay. Oh, right here, right here. What do they call this? I guess we know how he made the hole. I'm curious. I'm so curious right now. Who is it? What? I guess we're about to find out what they were trying to get. Step back. I'll be fine. But what if it right here? What if it slinks back into your face? I spit everywhere. I want to see what's in the box. I want to see what's in the box. Show me the box. Show me the box. Show well, me the box. I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Mm-hmm. Let's open it. Please? Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. A book of goblins. Okay, so what's this? What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what, what it is, though. It looks like an eye. Okay, so book of goblins, three numbers. So, oh, right there, right there. Um, next. We need. Wait. The look. It's the same symbol. The secret key. Yeah. Camera. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. <coughs> Is there any like number? No, we have to read it, guys. We have to read it. Once upon a time, in the deep ancient forest, the crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secrets? Secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose came to her. Head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into the Star Wars moon moose's eyes. The Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose, for the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. After a few minutes... Oh, like the twins. After a few minutes, the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded handing him a coin. The stalwart moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently and the moose was forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away. Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? And the uh, asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess, and the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know the moose's mate, mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets in the cold cloud. When she had, when she was gone, they climbed up a high spruce tree that disappeared onto the mis misty sky. They reached out and just managed to dip their hands onto the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories, and they snatched their hands back out, as if they had just thrust them in boiling water. Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, see the secret keeper. Give them back. The secret keep... The, uh, the crafty goblins stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange? They asked. I will give you back the silver-handled hairbrush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets? Pshaw. You'll, ne you'll have to offer more than that. What if said the secret keeper. I shared the gift of voice. Ah, oh, so that's how they got it. The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift, the voice of the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. The crafty goblins gave back the secret and they, that they had taken and ran back to the big wooden house. 
There they found Princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was blank. They tried to speak to her using only their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty go than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not with the whole of the forest. And that is how the goblins stole the gift of the voice from the secret keeper. But why they could but why could they use it with each other? Huh, were there Were there numbers in that? Oh. The goblins are in their voice. Okay, the goblins are in their voice is what it was called. That's 47, maybe it's 047. Any brilliant ideas? It has to be hidden somewhere. Oh! One, three, zero, I think. Connected to the Book of Goblins somehow. I swear to God, if that's what it is, I'm gonna be pissed. That did it. That took me way too long to figure out. I didn't want to break it open though. Ooh, what is this? Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Dell's Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Is this Sam? Fuck. That's rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel this, you'd make a great this guy mother. tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. <gasps> what? Even though she wanted to keep us. Mother, and I doubt you will... I don't doubt you will someday, but right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here to talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. I think it's Sam. Is Sam their dad? That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He came for... He came for the letters. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne. And he just tried to torch the evidence. I think it's he Sam, because Sam had a problem with his house. wife. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... Under the... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. <gasps> I'm putting chapstick on. Sorry. The Bad Hunter! Allison! Allison! It's the Bad Hunter. I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. The Bad Hunter. The but you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. Where'd he trip? It was like somewhere here. Right here. Trip. And he turned this way. The right there. Hunter. I knew it. I knew he looked like the Mad Hunter. Was there some?
someone over there? There was. The Mad Hunter. What? No. That... That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night... I... Thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods. But I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe. Hold on, do you feel that? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. He really didn't want us to figure out who he was. Well, he's been avoiding us for 20 years, so. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. There are. That must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. No. He really didn't Did you see a car anywhere on the way home? Nope. He mm. must have gone off-road. I guess it makes sense why he was able to get in and out so fast. Yeah. He must have been out here visiting Marianne. He really didn't want us to- Did you see a car anywhere on the way home? Nope. He must have gone off-road. I guess it makes sense why he was able to get in and out so fast. Yeah. He must have been out here visiting Marianne. <gasps> I can walk on it. Oh, I was just supposed to go. I was thinking we could walk and follow the footsteps. That's the most logical thing to do. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, exactly. And that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Then don't. Just one more time. Don't don't just try to guilt one your more bird. Time. Please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new. Why did pops that get up. them closer though? What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, <laughs> we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. <gasps> Did he just say that to hurt his head? Oh no. How, how can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God. I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Oh, this is, this is, this is getting rough now. This is a lot to learn in one episode. I mean, last episode was a lot to learn too. Wait. It has to be over here. Where am I supposed to be looking? Y'all, am I dumb? Maybe it's... Maybe it's this over here? Y'all, am I stupid? Allison, help me out. Oh, right here. We can do it. Oh my god. Boom! 
What happened? Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Oh, this is not the one she wanted. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. Oh, that's the other memory. We don't want that told other you, memory. I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll, I'll try. Yeah, don't focus on anything else. Oh, he's not. He's on. Come on now. Wait. Oh, this is it. This is a cool power to have, I'm not gonna lie. So you're here to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. <gasps> over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate. That's Mr. Vecky! Lend me some money. No, that sounds like Mr. 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 Vecky himself. Why did stop? Don't I tell me that's who it is. But we were so damn close. That little voice sounded like is his name Sam? The Vecky guy. No, there's no way. Their dad and he knows. Oh, okay. Let's let's go inside. She's not okay. I'm sorry. But I'm done. Understandable. That's it. You're Tyler. just giving up. Just like that. Tyler. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go. Please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. Is he? Oh, I just want to give her a big hug. I think that was Mr. Vecky. It sounded just like him. Who else could it be? He has a wife too. I didn't even think of the possibility of being him. Ouch! Watch it. You're stepping on my foot. I just Can know you hear it. what they're saying. Quiet. I know it's. I Don't know it's Mr. Vecky. Out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail Maybe your ass in him. that barn. Maybe it's... And just what do you think happens after that? Maybe it's not him. What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have that, no claim to It doesn't to look like him. him. Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? What was that about? Chapter 2 completed chapter 2. Excuse the fuck right out of me? What the heck? Hold on. What the heck? Okay. Okay. I was thinking it was Vecky because it sounded like him. But then when it it showed him, it gave more of a Eddie figure, but it doesn't sound like Eddie. And Eddie's not married, he doesn't have a wife, so it can't be Eddie. The only people who have wives are Sam and Mr. Vecky. 
I think it's Mr. Becky. Vanny, Vetty, Becky, however you say his name. Because he's married. I think. I think it's him. I really do think it's him. So he was blackmailing her by saying stuff like, you really think you're going to let you have the kids? You don't even want the kids! He's... You know what? I... I 100% think it's Mr. Becky because he only is trying to hide what it is now because he's running for mayor. Is that what he's running for? I don't even remember. And he wants votes. And if people find out that he was not, um, if people find out he wasn't faithful to his wife and had two kids, two twins with the woman who died 10 years ago because one of the kids killed her, that would be a whole drama case. People wouldn't vote for him after that. I think, I really do think it's Becky. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I was like, the Mad Hunter can't be real. There's no way. So who is it? Is it someone who's actually there and the kids are, or, or the kids just imagining it? It's like a combination of, to both of them. The kids are imagining the Mad Hunter, but it is a real person. Because, I mean, he kind of dresses like him, to be honest. To hide his face and stuff. <sighs> okay, let me... Let me backtrack. Two other things I was thinking about. Okay. I can't... I really can't get that out of my head. I think it's Becky. I can't stop thinking about that. Let's go on to about the whole... Uh, the whole thing with... Oh, there's just so much to talk about and I'm just blanking out all of it right now because I really do think it's Mr. Becky. Is his name Sam? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Okay, no, no, no. We really got to backtrack. We really got to think about what I'm about to say. So, where do I even start? Let's start talking about what the people, the people. It's hard for me to pick a character that I really like because I really love Tyler's character. I don't mind Allison at all. I think Allison's a sweet, a sweet girl, woman. She's a woman. She's not even a girl. Um, but I think, but I also like Michael. I like Sam. I don't think Sam's her father. I think Sam's a generally good guy. He's just a drunk, and there's a lot of issues there. But well, I thought I liked Becky too. But now that I think he's crazy, I don't even want to know. Um, but like my, uh, um, Michael and Tyler are getting along and I like that, but because they were kind of getting along, we got the two stars separating. Um, and I'm now worried that Allison might like Michael, but Michael's only ever really shown that he likes guys in this playthrough. He could like girls and I just don't realize it. He could like everybody like me, but I know I'm not too sure, certain on that. So I'm a little worried about that. I'm not too certain on what's going on there. Um, but I think Michael and Tyler's relationship is really cute so far. I, Michael's a really good guy and he made that the fish thingy. That sounded really good, honestly, right now. That sounds really good. I mean, so did the pulled pork that whoever said that that one chick at the, um, police station was talking about. That sounds so good right now. But I don't think Eddie's a bad person either. I think Eddie... And this is where miscommunication comes in because nobody was talking to, to each other, which was understandable because Eddie was an adult and most of these people were adults. All these people were kids. But Eddie thought was the, everything Eddie has done, he thought he was doing with the best intentions for the kids. And I fully think he thought he thinks he was doing a really good job. Even if he made them separate for so many years, I personally think Eddie thought in his head, this is the best for the kids right now. Especially after, after such a traumatic incident, yeah, he probably thought he was doing it really good. But also the fact of Tess, Tessa and Eddie kind of blame themselves for their mom's death and talking about how, you know, we shouldn't have, um, what did they say? I should have talked to you guys. I should have, you know, told you the truth. But the thing is, I can understand them not telling them the truth because they were kids when everything happened. They were only 11 and so you don't you don't just tell kids everything like that because that can be a lot for them, especially after a traumatic experience like that. Do I think they should have told them the older they got? Yes, but I feel like they probably didn't under didn't know when was the right point or right time to tell them everything that they know or what had happened. And I know they were mad about um, Tessa telling um, child services on Marianne and that Eddie had to go through with it because that's his job. But I can understand their standpoint. They really do care about the kids. And 
you have your kids stealing you have uh, you're not mentally okay and you're barely getting by you bar you're stealing stuff because you can't afford food detergent anything like that so at that point as a friend you have to sit there and go i have to do what's best for these kids no matter how much no matter how much that is my best friend i have to do what's best for these kids because they can't just live like this they can't just go down the wrong path of stealing and stuff they gotta know that there's better opportunities like that in the world instead of struggling all the time. And Eddie had to report it because that's his job. He has to do that, that's his job. He can't just turn a blind eye. And maybe somewhere in there he was like, no, I really do see where this is a big issue. So even if he didn't want to do it because your family friends and stuff are friends, sorry, I'm worried about the kids as well. And so I think they had the best intentions wholeheartedly in their mind, because yeah, Honestly, if it were me and I heard my best friend was struggling this bad and these kids were doing these things that they shouldn't be doing at their age, I'd probably report it too. It sounds really bad, but I probably would too because there's only so much you can do. But also the fact of, I don't like that people say stuff like, um, well, you're not really a good friend if you're not there for them all the time. I hate that mindset because sometimes your bestest friend could be going through their own stuff or sometimes they don't understand how to help you because one, they've never experienced the issues you're going through or two, they don't understand it quite like them. Your, be your best friends or your friends or family are your friends or your family. They're not your therapist. They're not doctors that can help you. So as much as I think, yeah, they should be there for you to a certain extent, they shouldn't be there to be your therapist. They shouldn't be there to, you know, just let all the bad things that you're doing just slide i i would continue in a second but there's ugh, i hit myself in the face tyler and allison tyler felt relied on when allison chose his memory at the house 58 percent chose tyler's memory 42 percent chose allison's memory i'm i'm glad i chose tyler's that time i think his was more accurate um oh we'll get to know why it separated when we're talking to uh michael Tyler and Allison. Tyler felt heard about needing time when Allison refused the house showing. 34% accepted, accepted the appointment. 66% refused the appointment. I'm glad I refused it. They need time. Tyler and Allison. Allison felt hopeful about becoming a family with Tyler when Tyler forgave Eddie. 80% forgave Eddie. 20% didn't forgive Eddie. Why? What did Eddie do? Eddie Brown. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. 80% forgave Eddie. 20% didn't forgive Eddie. I forgave him. Michael... Abila. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. 80% accepted Michael's compliment. 20% turned down Michael. Dang. Tessa Vecchi. Tessa felt grateful the twins kept her in their lives. 81% forgave Tessa. 19% didn't forgive Tessa. Dang. I was hoping it would show why, she, why uh, uh, Allison was upset about uh, the choice I made with um, Michael at one point. My whole earring got stuck. Okay. I think there's going to be a cutscene. And then we'll continue the conversation I was trying to make. Ooh. I think this is the last There's episode, something guys. else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. This is the last episode, I think. The next episode's gonna be the last one. Let's no, go. I'm loving this game too much. I had those stars as a kid. They used to look like they were moving at night. Friends and family are friends and family, but in no way do they um, have to go through some... I don't know. I don't know how to say this in a way that makes sense or sounds reasonable, I guess, except for the fact of friends and family can only do so much for you until you have to find either your own help or be sit there and think about, yeah, I have this issue and I know they can't do do that for me or they can't help me with that because it, that's not their job you know they they can only do so people can only do so much before it becomes too much for them as well you know what i mean like your friends family aren't your therapist and they're not your doctors is what i like to say because as i like when friends or family are there but i don't expect them to constantly be there for me when they don't want to understand the situation i'm in or two don't know how to help me in any way besides just kind of be there you can't expect them to know all the answers they're normal humans just like everybody around you but i think that's why it's eddie and i think eddie and tessa are actually really good people and what i like about this game 
Um, I'm going to bring up the trans issue or just in general, the LGBTQA plus community is the fact of they show that the people who don't quite understand Tyler's situation are willing to learn and grow from that from from what they didn't know i, I guess what i say with with sam and with i was calling becky sam uh, sam is the guy i'm just gonna say stick with calling Be becky becky um sam's the guy i like he gave tyler a switchblade and he's like every man needs one it's, it's his way of showing like i you know i accept who you are and i want to be in your life and i want to hopefully get a stronger relationship with you i don't you know i don't disagree that all oh, what you're doing you know you're a nice handsome young man you know and the same thing goes with um tessa when tessa when they were in the graveyard tessa had said that you don't always understand god's plan and what he says to you i accept mm -hmm. you for the young handsome you know young man that you are and that was that and that it, it may sound like that wasn't a lot but that's the first step from her learning more as she goes on because for for some people it take that that alone is a lot because in my life and in the town i live in it is extremely hard to find people who accept you when you're in that part of that community extremely hard that's why when michael was talking about it he's like i don't fight it and i don't try to help people learn is because sometimes you can't and it sucks and it's terrible but I like the fact that they show people accepting it and I like the fact that they're showing Michael's point of view and how that some people you can't, you can't just change, you can't, there's no, why argue with them when their opinion of it is never going to change? And that's how I like to think about my town too. It's just so, this game is just so accurate with showing human emotions, with real world problems, with mental health and you know people's opinions and how they think and i think that's what i really like about this game and i'm really upset it's only three chapters long because this game has become my whole heart right now but this game just shows a lot but in the best way possible i guess you could say because having mental health issues isn't easy and being a part of the community isn't easy either because you have people who don't agree with it and they'll never agree with it no matter how much you try to teach them no matter how much you have to you try to tell them anything it doesn't always work that way and that's i'm, I'm with michael in the stance of i'm not going to argue with you and i'm not going to try and force you to learn my way you respect me and my decisions as i'm going to respect you just don't 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 be disrespectful towards me then we're going to have a problem you know what i mean but i don't there's just so much to unpack on this game and i don't have an issue with that this game is really in my opinion really interesting mm -hmm. and i think it does a great job at doing certain topics and doing certain things let's move on to the the subject of what's going on with allison and tyler now i don't really talk about allison as much because i relate to tyler more but i want to talk about allison because i feel extremely bad for her in these situations because she just got her brother back and it's a lot for her because she hasn't seen him in 10 years i mean he hasn't either but she hasn't seen him in 10 years and she has she lives with the guilt day by day year by year that she killed her mom and her brother was the one that took the fall and in this episode it really shows that to her it's she feels like it's her fault that her brother was left and they didn't see each other for 10 years she's like i killed her but you took the blame and that's my fault so Alice, Alyssa is going through a lot and she's not talking about a lot because she's internalizing it and she's not really speaking out about it until, you know, Tyler's like, you know, spill it, spit it out, you know, something's going on. And I feel bad for her because it's not her fault. She did kill her mom, but Tyler chose to take the blame for that. Allison, of course, wasn't Allison. Alyssa wasn't really going to fight him on that because she was traumatized she just killed her mom on accident you know what i mean i mean her mom died, their mom died by drowning but she still stabbed her and in turn made her fall to drown but you could tell she's going through a lot and she's trying to help her brother figure out these things but you could tell it's taking a huge toll on her she doesn't want to remember certain situations she doesn't care to know who her father is but this is where the twin they may be twins and they may, may be a lot alike but this is where they start to separate Tyler wants to know all the answers. He wants to know who their dad is. He wants to know as much as possible to try and figure out the story more. Where Alyssa 
could care less who her father is. She's trying to just live her life and move on. She wants to move, make, you know, act like this never happened any ever again. Just forget about it. It's been 10 years. And that's where they're starting to, you know, divert in paths because they have different ways of thinking and different ways of doing things because they're not the same person. They may be t identical twins and they may have a lot in common, but they're not the same person. They're different people. And I feel like hope in the next episode they're gonna learn a lot more about each other about what they want for each other you know each other and what they want for themselves and it's just it's just a lot you know what i mean i i can understand where it's a lot oh another thing that i'm i i like that they um hit a topic on is the native american culture and stuff because when michael made the comment about how what do you do if you want a new school you just dig up the graves and that is just so accurate because we recently had that thing where they dug up a bunch of they found all these native bones of all these kids who were taken away from their families and stuff and forced to live in a religion that they didn't they weren't following and forced to live in a culture and a life that that's not what they did they were forced to do this and they lost their lives because of th that situation they they should have never had to go through that and so i'm glad they kind of hit topics on it i want i'm hoping they make a game about that alone obviously with the help of natives who understand that um um understand it more what's going on so they can put more of you know information on it but i think that's what i like about don't nods games is they take the experience of people who actually went through these situations. And I'm really excited to see what comes on, comes with, with the last, I'm assuming last episode. I'm, I'm excited for it and I'm kind of sad for it to be over because this has become one of my new, one of my favorite games. A Little Nightmares is my all time favorite. And this is probably, it's really hitting close home for like top one for me right now. Mm. And I'm sad to see it go, but we'll get there when it's the last episode but that's gonna be it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed i'm going insane i'm pretty sure it's becky that's their dad and if it is we're about to throw hands because he threatened their mama pow pow i cannot stand him now i thought he was a nice guy well looks can be deceiving and so can personalities apparently he's two-faced that man is two-faced i'm certain and if it's not him sorry mr becky didn't mean to threaten you but if it is you, meet me outside. I'll fly to Alaska myself and we can fight. Anyways, anyways, all in all, the end of this video, I want to give both of these, these, you know, these, I was gonna say guys, but I was gonna, whatever. I want to give both these guys big hugs. I want to cook them warm meals, have hot cocoa and, you know, cuddle up and watch a movie. You know, I, I want them to be happy because they deserve it. They were so young when such a traumatic thing happened and it's so sad. I also want to invite Michael over. We can all hang out. I want to give Michael a hug because he misses his uncle. I was about to cry during that scene because his uncle sounded exactly like my, my, my great grandfather who I lived with for a long time and he was like my father figure. And oh my gosh, the way he was describing his uncle made me think of him and I was, I was all emotional. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are ready for the next episode of this thing because I... <laughs> I'm just not ready for it to be over yet, guys. I just, I just started it. I, I knew it only had three chapters though, and I was hoping it didn't. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys know what time it is. It's water time. <laughs> if you don't know what water time is, if you're new here, it's basically your daily reminder to drink some water, especially in this heat of the summertime. You got to get your electrolytes. You, of course, don't have to drink water with me. You don't have to drink water at all if you don't want to. It's your life, your choice. It's just a reminder, okay? Please drink some water. I'm not forcing you to do it, of course. You don't got to do it if you don't want to. If you want to do it, push play whenever you're ready. If not, you can just skip it. Ready? Go. <gasps> yummy it was kind of warm but it was so good it was still good but i'll see you guys in the next episode i hope you guys have a good day and i hope you guys have a good night i love y'all adios Up my